Hi, good morning. Today's video we are going to evaluate two limits with two different examples. The first limit we have absolute value of 2 times x minus 1 minus absolute value of 2x plus 1 over x when x is approaching to 0. Okay, let's go through this example to evaluate this limit. Before evaluating this limit, we should know this limit contains absolute value. We cannot leave this absolute value as is it and apply our limits. We should tick, tick off the absolute value first, then apply our limit because we don't know the sign of these terms. Okay? It, they, they, may, they may be positive or they may, may, they may be negative. We don't know. So in order to calculate the limit over x, all the x, as the x is a real number. So we, we pick up the interval, small interval, and then we do our limit, okay? We don't need the interval, all interval, all x. We need just, I'm gonna show you now how we pick up the numbers. So in this example, look at here. We pick up, we need only this interval in this case, okay? So let's choose this interval and apply our limit here to zero. We don't need limit x to infinity or x to minus infinity. To do the interval, it should be, it should be bigger interval, interval, okay? We need just small interval because we need the, our limit at the point zero, which is located between two small numbers, which is minus one over two and one over two. Why I'm choosing this interval, I, you will see it in one minute, okay? So as x is approaching to zero, okay, you see x in this example when x, x is a whole thing. X you can choose whatever you want, okay, because x, uh, x belongs to real numbers. So, but I need x in particular interval, in particular points. That's why I'm choosing this one, okay? So this one, what's giving, what's giving me this one? Let's choose that on the right-hand side interval. So we have x, one over two, as you see it here. So that's mean two x, we are multiplying two by x. Inferior is uh, strictly inferior than one. So this one, that's mean two x minus one. Let's take one on the other side gives you here becomes zero. Now we prove it to x minus one, which, which is here, what you have here, is negative, is, is strictly inferior than zero. Now we know the sign of this one, now it's negative. Now we allow to tick absolute value and then put the negative sign in the front. That's our proof. On the other hand, on the other side, so let's choose, we have, minus one over x, uh, minus one over two is strictly inferior than x. That's mean minus one is strictly inferior than two x. The same thing what I, what I did here. So we, we take our number from, to the other side, which is zero, two x plus one, okay? Just bring the minus one to the other side. It gives you positive one. So, so that's mean zero is a, is a two x plus one is a larger than zero. That's mean two x plus one is larger than zero. Now we proved again two x plus one is a positive. So now we are allowed to take off the absolute value and replace it with the the, the plus sign. Okay. Now it's positive. Let's do, now we are allowing to apply our limits. So our limit, which is limit of 2x minus one, minus 2x plus one over x, when x is approaching to zero, let's take off the sign now. This is negative, remember, as you see it here. We have to put the negative sign in the front. In front of the whole thing, 
which is 2x minus 1. Next term, you have minus, let's put it plus, positive, because you have a positive here. Let's leave it as is it, minus 2x plus 1 over x, when x is approaching to 0. Okay? It gives you minus 2x plus 1, because minus times minus equal plus. This one, the same thing, 2x minus 2x minus 1, multiply minus 1 uh, by 1 equal, equal minus 1, okay, over x, when x is approaching to 0. So our limit, let's, let's call it f of x, okay, when x is approaching to 0. Let's uh, subtract this one. 1 minus 1 equals 0. Minus 2x minus 2x is minus 4x over x. Minus 4x. Minus 4. Minus 4x over x, which is minus 4. So our limit is minus 4. Now, let's move on to the next example. Let's cl clean the board and go to the next example. which we have chosen the first example because we care about absolute value. And then we are choosing the second example because we care about the conjugate, because we need absolute, we need the square root of x uh, to do something with it, to show you how to conjugate, how to use, when you use the conjugate, okay? That's our purpose now. That's the goal. So we have the limit now we have more space we can write clearly now. So the limit of absolute uh, square root of x minus 2 over x minus 4 when x is approaching to 4. Now, what's the idea? If you apply the limit here directly, as you see it here, if you plug in 4, that's mean 4, square root of 4 minus 2 over 4 minus 4, which is 2 minus 2 over 4 minus 4, which 0 over 0. This is indeterminate form. We cannot write like this. So we have to transfer your form to another form in order to solve your limit, to find the limit, okay? You cannot solve it like this. So take, take off this one. Now we have to find the trick, the idea how to transfer this form to second form which is which is easier reduce your form and then help us to calculate the limits uh, successfully okay and accurately so this one let's think about conjugate what's the conjugate mean i'm gonna tell you what's the conjugate mean. when x is approaching to four let's write the whole thing as you see it, let's multiply by x plus 2 instead instead uh, minus, okay? Over, over square root of x plus 2. So I did nothing here, just this one gives you 1. Just I want to write like this. Why? Because I want to arrive to this formula. This identity. This one it gives you i minus b factor i plus b. Okay? Why? Because we want to cancel square root from the numerator. Okay? Okay? We leave the square root of x in the numerator. Okay? So that's one. What is giving me here? The limit. Let's multiply this one over this one, which is this one. This one is here the same thing. It gives you this one, which is x square, square root of x squared minus 2, 2 squared by x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 2. Okay? The limit of this one, what is this? This is x minus 4 
now x minus 4 over and multiply by square root of x plus 2 okay when x is approaching to 4 that's why I'm using the conjugate to arrive to this one to cancel out this one you see now when you cancel your term will be reduced and your limit will be solved okay let's cancel this one now your limit will become 1 over x square root of x plus 2 when x is approaching to 4 okay now is apply your limits 1 over square root of 4 plus 2 which is 1 1 over 2 plus 2 your limit now of let's let's call it g of g of, of, of a g g of x okay the limit of g of x when x is approaching to 4 we call this one which is 1 over 4 okay here we go we already calculated our limit so if you like this video just subscribe i will see you in next video bye